Well, Vermonters across the state can expect better access to health care. More than $33 million are coming to the Green Mountain State to support Vermont's federally qualified health care centers. There are 11 of them offering care at 66 different locations statewide. Local 22's Jolie Sherman is live outside the one in Burlington tonight with more on this money from the American Rescue Plan. Lauren, this is the largest single investment in the history of the state's community health care centers, which nearly a third of all Vermonters rely on. What a community health center is about is a facility open to all people, not just low income people. These centers provide primary health care, dental care, mental health services, and low cost prescription drugs to nearly 190,000 Vermonters. Per capita participation in Vermont is higher than in any other state in this country. Senator Sanders says the state's community health centers are a model for the nation, but he says there's more work to do. In spite of all the growth and change that has taken place across that span, our mission has been the same, to improve the health of all within the communities we serve. Community Health Centers of Burlington CEO Jeff McKee says the organization has already started planning what to do with these federal dollars. First, we'll be adding resources to provide mobile testing and vaccine administrative, uh, administration services to underserved populations across the community, particularly those experiencing homelessness, living in rural areas, or our BIPOC community members. This funding is part of a $12 billion program nationwide. Tens of millions of people, even those with insurance, are having a hard time getting to the doctors or the dentists that they need. Every person in the state of Vermont, and in fact every person in America, is entitled to quality health care as a human right. Senator Sanders also says the American Rescue Plan will also provide $8 million for a program called the National Health Service Corps. Vermont's share of that money will provide uh, medical professionals, dentists, and other doctors in areas where they're needed most. Reporting live in Burlington, I'm Jolie Sherman.